बात करेंगे भारत की अंतरिक्ष यात्रा की एक ऐसी यात्रा जिसने न सिर्फ ऊंचाइयों को छुआ है बल्कि पूरी दुनिया में भारत को एक नई पहचान दी है जी हाँ दर्शकों और सबसे बड़ी खुशी की बात यह है कि आज हमारे साथ हैं वैज्ञानिक लेखक जिन्होंने अंतरिक्ष यात्रा को अपने शब्दों में पिरोकर एक ऐसी किताब लिखी है जो अंतरिक्ष यात्रा और इसके साथ ही भारतीयों के जीवन पर पड़ रहे प्रभाव को बाखूबी दर्शाया है बिल्कुल तो स्वागत करते हैं इसरो के पूर्व वरिष्ठ अंतरिक्ष इंजीनियर और वैज्ञानिक लेखक डॉक्टर एस श्रीधर जी का जो जूम के माध्यम से हमारे साथ जुड़ रहे हैं वेलकम टू आर प्रोग्राम सर नमस्ते स्वागत है सर सबसे पहले सर हम आपसे जानना चाहेंगे कि इसरो भारत की सबसे सफल संस्थाओं में से एक है जिसने देश विदेश और में भारत का नाम रोशन किया है अपने आप ने जो है इसरो में तीन दशक से ज्यादा जो है काम किया है हम आपसे जानना चाहेंगे कि इस बुक को लिखने के लिए आप कैसे इंस्पायर्ड हुए हैं Particularly, this topic. Ah, yeah, ex exactly, exactly. I'll tell that. See, if you uh, uh, look at uh, the Chandrayaan, Mangalyaan, all these programs, you no know, PSLV, GSLV, all these, etc., has been celebrated or nationwide. It has been celebrated. Yes. But however, there are human stories behind them which are not known much to everyone. Right. And second point is, uh, there are a lot of satellite applications which are beneficial for the 1.4 billion people in India. So uh, my book is a, a humble tribute to all the stalwarts uh, who have translated all the Indian space dreams uh, okay. uh, along with their team, as well as the satellite applications which have touched the 1.4 billion people of our India. Right. So, sir, India space program was built by some truly visionary scientists. I'm sure some of them must have deeply inspired you too. Can you share any inspiring story or any moment that really touched your heart or shaped your journey in space science? Yeah, sure. See, there are several uh, stalwarts who have really touched me, but I would like to pick up two people: so, S. Srinivasan and S. Ramakrishnan. And one of you know who uh, unfortunately his life was cut short at the age of 58 while in service, as well as you know the other one who didn't wake up after his last day in office. Okay. Srinivasan actually you know he he was uh, working tremendously for the SLV3 which brought glory to our nation, and of course PSLV is his baby, right from land acquisition, design, establishing all the facilities, quality. Exact, uh, etc. All he was there in all. He worked similarly for the GSLV two, but unfortunately he was not allowed to see the first launch of GSLV, which was a tremendous success. Similarly, if you look at Ramakrishnan, you know, he upgraded the PSLV to such a large extent it could be used for launching communication satellites as well as for planetary missions. And he is the chief architect for the design and development before for the uh, GSLV Mark II, which is the heaviest launch vehicle ISRO has so far. He never woke up after his last day in office. These two people really, you know, their dedication really touched me. Of course, there are a lot of other stalwarts too. Right. So you know, when people talk about space, they usually think of rockets, satellites, or moon missions. But in your book, you have beautifully explained how space research actually connects with the life of every Indian. So could you share a few real uh, example of how this technology is quietly transforming lives across India? Yeah, sure. See, there are there are too many applications which are uh, touching. Uh, in one way or the other, the every citizen in India. But I would like to pick up a few for the viewers. If you look at the farmers, you know, they have the data regarding their types of soil, extent of uh, crops they are cultivated, the health of the crops, uh, the sites where to drill water, to find water for agriculture, and weather conditions. All these data are given to the government also, shared with the government for taking you know policy decisions for our food security of india and if you look at the uh, fishermen 
you know the, the weather conditions which are given to them through satellites are you know they have to uh, when to enter into the sea and to the sites where they can find a lot of fishes to catch so accordingly uh, these two people are the, the the best people for our nation as well as if you look at the uh, disaster warning systems which uh, help us to save a lot of human and animal lives too right and of course television and daily education you know if you look at it it connects the rural india to the urban india and if you look at the television you know the telecast right now everybody is seeing and which has a 100% coverage all over india so it integrates india i would like to personally call it out and of course last but not the least among all others security and safety of our nation is extremely important and fortunately our prime minister shri narendra modi ji has you know given such an extent uh, an encouragement to isro we you see that you know operation sindur is the best example i can put right now so you are absolutely right sir and we know that the world of space exploration is never easy aur isro ki journey to challenges se hi bhari rahi hai so but uh, with the time again isro has shown that nothing is impossible so can you tell us about a few such tough moment jab situation was very difficult but the team still achieved incredible success you you are asking about the tough uh, situation exactly which tough situation has, and uh, the incredible success of yours yeah uh, so uh, uh, there are quite a few you know heartbreaking instances i will say and dark days uh, in the past for this show but however at this juncture i will call just one and if you look at uh, you know the thousands of engineers technicians and of course the administrative staff too so they have worked uh, tremendously days and nights and for years together across eight major centers uh, of this show for days and nights that uh, you know the uh, the chandrayaan 2 hmm. has traveled from earth to moon for about extra approximately 4 lakh kilometers hmm. and when it was just 2 kilometers away from the surface it unfortunately hurried and and it uh, crashed down to the surface that was really i will say a heartbreaking moment no one moved in that control room and it was pin drop silence Right. I called up my son who was working in Delhi at that time, and he was literally crying over the phone. Hmm. And I will say the grief of the employees spilled over to their families too. There are a lot of other uh, also probably you know if one is interested they can look at my book. Yes, sir. तो सर हम आशा करते हैं कि आपकी ये जो बुक है ये आने वाली पीढ़ियों को अंतरिक्ष के सपने देखने और उसे साकार करने की प्रेरणा देगी तो इसरो के पूर्व वरिष्ठ अंतरिक्ष इंजीनियर और लेखक एस श्रीधर जी अपने विचार साझा करने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर जॉइनिंग अस विद अस टुडे थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू नमस्कार नमस्कार सर